Polly since she keep... All right, guys, doing a little bit of inshore. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. Get him off the boat. Get to the edge. Oh, there you go. Keep him off the boat. We're really close to the pilot. Oh, oh he my popped off. God. You had a stud on, whatever it was. Oh, all right, guys. Good morning. We're up here in beautiful Dang it. Stewart. Yes. And uh, we're hitting some pylons this morning. We haven't been up here in forever. The weather's been crappy. You guys been paying attention. And uh, just had a fish on, just missed it. And so with these pylons, we, on these pylons, we're going to hit sheepshead, pompano, Everything. maybe a triple tail. And then we're going to go down the inlet and uh, try and find some pompano. So we're going to bring you guys along. Dude. Let's get the next fish. Dude, Good I can't believe morning, you just though. lost him. Did you see that hole in the water? Twice. He freaking tail kicked right I don't there. Know what that was. It wasn't a jack. Make sure the drag's not too tight. It, it wasn't too tight. really tight. It feels really tight. Maybe not. I don't understand how you lost him. Because the hook came out of his mouth. You think it was a jack? It didn't feel jacky. No, it did not look like a jack. We're you gonna see. Have, you might have had a pom pom. They jump and dart like that all over. I don't know how, we, how you lose a fish like that though. It's so crazy. I got another one. Keep him off the boat. You gotta follow your fish. You, you're gonna I'm pop right him here. off. Right here. You're gonna pop him off the thing. All right, keep him off the boat. Get him away from Kylie's if you can. Try. This one feels more jacky, but we're gonna see. Okay, come to the front if you need to. Come off the boat. Come to the forward. Yep. There you go. Nice, nice triple tail. Nice triple tail. Nice and steady. To me. To me. Nice one. I don't know if he's gonna keep. Nice one. Right to me. 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 Nice Woo! job. Good job, Brian. You had a triple tail on before. I probably had a triple tail. This you might be. gotta be 18. 18. Measure them up. All right. Dude. Nice um, work. Unbelievable. Brian lost a triple tail just before. I Where did. are you casting? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just throwing in the middle. I'm not getting any I'm bites. In the middle. All right, you measure them up. Let me get my get, back get the Get the tape. He's gonna be close. All right. Might be all right. All right. Tumor. All right. Incredible. You had a freaking big one on before. I don't know. Fought exactly seems the same. Like, seems like the same size. Dude, fit, fought exactly the same. Oh, his gills are so tight. Get yeah, no, they're very sharp. Be careful. Let's get the hook out. All right, check that out. Target species, definitely. This guy got hooked very, very well. Little shrimp jig right in the corner of the mouth, doing the trick. If I can. They have very sharp gill plates right there, so you want to be careful. I haven't handled a triple tail in a few years, so <laughs> just taking my time here. He'll be a okay. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Let go, buddy. All right. All right. Nice your, fish. Can't put your hand in his gills too good. But he, uh, okay. Yeah, he's gonna be like 16, right? Yeah, he's not big enough. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful nice. triple tail for Brian. Awesome. All right, let's let him go. All right. In short. Hurry up, hurry up. All right. All right, dude, thanks for the fight. He's gone. Epic. All right, we got to get lines right back out. No messing <laughs> around. Snapper. What do you got, Thor Sizzle? Snapper. Mm. Little mutton. Nice. Nice. First fish for me. First fish for Thor Sizzle. Fish sucks, but what are you going to do? It does suck. I agree. <laughs> but you know what? Your fish sucks too because it's not on the boat. Oh! Oh! Gotcha. Yep. Just kidding. All right, you're putting all work on these pylons. Uh, I need my de-hooker. You need a de-hooker for that little baby? Yeah. Want to try some, some more? Want to go closer no. or you want to leave move? Yeah, I guess go closer. I didn't really get to fish it. All right. Did you fish it? Yeah. What? Yeah. All right, Dustin, let's see if you can catch me a fish. All right, let's go. <laughs> Anything I can eat, we'll be happy with. Well, Dustin's doing that. Here's the gear we're using today real quick. It's a water temp. Water temperature today is 72 right here. Oh, it dropped again. It dropped a couple of degrees, but uh, for lot. triple tail, they say you want over 70. We're no experts, I assure you, though. Uh, so anyways, use some Okuma SRT inshore elite rods. We really like them. Some light 2500 uh, size reels or whatever. Got like 15 to 20 pound braid, 20 to 30 pound leader. And then uh, like we like, like, to, like, like to do a lot of times in the summer, I mean in the winter, we're using these little jigs. I got a whole shrimp. Darcy puts the half shrimp on. And uh, 
Just throwing a pylons and another structure. Crab traps. Crab traps. Crab traps are supposed to be excellent. Yeah. So again, you know, Stewart's not really the hot spot for the triple tail, but we have caught some here and we wanted to try again. So we'll see what happens. But toss the shrimp and trying to get lunch is what we care about today. Beautiful weather finally broke. Light tackle fishing. We moving that sizzle? Yeah, let's go. Turn around, let's go. Oh, yes. Snapper. Nice. A little more bycatch. Good job. Hold this to sizzle. <gasps> Come on! <laughs> My hair is nice and done. And I got fish slime on me. <laughs> Meanie. Yeah, that might be a keeper mangrove. <laughs> it's a keeper. It's a keeper. <laughs> Oh, she's got a little baby too. All right. Move on. Moving on. Well, you know, again, if uh, you're out here with the kids on a little vacation, catch them up. I got my finger stuck on my line. I, can't, I literally can't get it out. Oh, God. What did you do? Got my fat, I got my fat effing sausage fingers caught in the line. I don't understand how you do that. Some dumb boy. That would never happen to a girl. I've done that. Pick it up. I've done that. Don't slam it in this time. Sorry. Yeah, shrimp back here now. Yeah, there should be one in there. Yeah, they are snap. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Whoa. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys saw that. Seen a lot of rays today. Whoa. Oh, babe. Get him off that pole. Get him off that pole if you can. Short pumps. He's going right for the pole. Shit. Baby, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Come on, you can do it. If you need me to help. Okay, bring us back here, please. Come over here. Walk over here. Follow your fish. I don't know where he is. Come over here. I think he's on there? Yeah, I think he's on this side. Nice and slow. Just back up on the pole. Oh, yeah. Drift back on it. You got you wrapped up in it. Oh, man. Take your time. No, he's out there. Yeah. Real, real, real. Real, real, real. Oh. He's running straight out. All right, take this. Steer over there. Take it off your rug. Come to the front. We got all day. We got all day. He's away from pilings. The drag's not too tight, right? No, he's been on it. We got all day. What is it? I'm ready with the net. Tell everybody what's happening. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it is. I, I, I mean, it could be a ray going out like this, but I don't. I don't feel like it's a ray. Shark. Um, I don't jack. think it's a shark. It's not a jack. Is it would be. Yeah, it's not boat. a jack, man. I mean, I was I was thought it was a Goliath because it was so heavy a, at first, but it was like if it's a big TT, it's gonna fight, dude. Shush. Just take your time. We have all day. He's away oh. from structure. You got all day. You gotta be close. Probably Ish. gotta be. I, mean, I never had that much drag. Yeah. Oh my God, it's a drum. Yeah. Oh my God, take your time, please. Take your time, babe. Big black drum. Yep. Big black drum. Definitely keeper size, one over, th one over whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, either way, he's a keeper. Take your time. You got all day. All right, he's got a big drum on, baby. It might be a big red, but I think it's a black. Oh, no, it's a drum. He's very colorful, golden colored. There you go. Look at the nice fight on this light tackle. Brian didn't think yeah, he nice. was a stud, stud fish Here at all. Come. Here he comes. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. Ah! There you go. There you go. Up, up, down, down, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to the back. Follow your fish. Big tail shakes. Come, come to the back. He's going around. Watch the boat. There you go. If you need to go around, go around. Come on, you gotta do nice angling right now. Shoot. I would not freak with that drag. He's no. right at the boat, stalemate. Watch the boat, watch the angle. You're real close, you're real close. 
Brian, off the boat. Gaff, off the boat. I don't know. All right, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna get the gaff. He's not gonna fit in there. No. Oh my god. Under his belly. Yeah, he's got a lot of. He's got a lot, his skin is still. Short. Right, maybe we can net him. Where is, he? Where is he? Come here. Brian, I don't have the net. Hurry up. Do something. Someone's grab him. Oh my god. <laughs> Open the bail. Open the bail. Right, I got it. We got it. We got it. Open the bail. Yeah, he's right. good. He's good. All right. Hell yes, Brian. <laughs> That's a Watch locker. The rod. Watch the rod. Watch the rod. All right. All right. Snap the rod. Oh my god. You pulled up your damn fish. What? Brian, <laughs> what? Loco. Fishing pilings. Dude, this is a fish of a, a lifetime in a public waterway. Are you crazy right now? Dude, look at that thing. Brian, I can't believe it. Good thing we bought the big cooler. <laughs> Heck yeah. That, hold up your fish. Give me oh. the camera right now. All right, I got lucky, did a great job. I got like 20 or 30 pound test and look at this little jig right in his lip. Look so caught him. Look at that, just a little thing. Oh my God, pick up your fish. Hold him the right way. I'm gonna, go, let me get him up front. Yeah, other hand goes the other way. That's our guy. Oh, dude, Brian's got heavy a 20 as hell, pound dude. fish. This is more than 25. that. 25. This fish weighs a ton, dude. 25. Show me, show me, show me. Other way, other way, son, son. Hand in the other gill plate, pick him up. Are you sure we wanna keep him? All right, yes, here we you go. can. If I can do it, you can do it. Look at that fish! Woo! All right, nice one. Oh, Whee! sorry, sorry. So he's 30, 32. All right, no, you can keep one over 28, so he's, you can keep anyone. I know. All right. All right, took a couple of pictures. We're gonna actually let him go. Yeah. Hopefully. I think he's gonna be okay. I mean, he put up one heck of a fight. He was done at the end of that fight. Get Beautiful it. fish. Is the boat in gear? Get his head in the water, please. Yeah, he's in the water, babe. The boating gear? I, I'm looking for the controller. Okay, it's on the floor. Who would have thought? Fish and pilings, Brian catches a 40 pound giant, 40 inch giant. Beautiful drum. Beautiful drum. Getting some nice footage of them too on my chest cam, but beautiful fish. Put up one heck of a fight. He's like uh, just over 39 inches long. Stud, I would say he's close to 30 pounds. Dot Brian did a good drink. Great job. I thought he was gonna be like a 20 pound giant triple tail or something, but nice fish. All right, and boat's in gear basically. Yeah, with the trolling motor on. Trolling motor on, getting water through his gills, and basically just reviving this fish. He put up one heck of a fight. Make sure he starts tail kicking soon. And I got my hands in his lips, like in his mouth. I know they got some teeth or whatever. All right, slow down. He's closing his mouth now. He just started closing his mouth. He's breathing. He's about to take off, watch. So you gotta, just gotta give a fish a minute, especially when they put up such a fight like that and you fight them to the very end on ultra light tackle. And he put up, he was dragging the boat there for a minute, <laughs> like literally. So it just takes a minute to revive them. He's definitely getting more lively. I can feel it. I can see kicking. his side fins are out more. Yeah, he's kicking and he's, he's like moving his mouth back and forth right here. You see it? I think he's just gonna go. Here he goes. He just told me he was ready. He like just started kicking and like as soon as he just pulled his head away from the boat. So I just held on to that fish two, three minutes. Looked like he wasn't going to do anything, and all of a sudden they just revive like that. So, epic catch, Brian. Let's go get some more fish. Ah! Put in, did it. So, I would say, like, today I'm really destroying you in the fishing. Yeah, you are. You have the touch. You know, like, like they say, lightning's got to hit somewhere. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. I agree I'm with you. I'm saying something. I agree with you. All right, I think I'm gonna take a break, Sizzle, and you try and catch up. No, you need to catch dinner now. <laughs> I'm on a diet. I, I don't said need you dinner. have the touch. I'm on a diet. You I don't need no fish. dinner. You have to fish. <laughs> well, you know, like we tell you guys a lot of times, when you're fishing pylons and docks, 
and uh, stuff like that. You know, a lot of the battle, you hit as many docks as you can until you catch a fish. You know, same with these pylons today. You know, you had some lucky, you had some uh, success at the beginning, but then started getting a little frustrated hitting a bunch of these things and not, not getting no payoff. But uh, that was a great fish. It's been years since you caught a black drum up here. That was the biggest, that was the biggest drum we ever caught. Yeah. Yeah, because the other one definitely shot, definitely starts to shot one that was huge, but that was the biggest on hook and line. Yes. By a long shot. Amazing. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, triple tail. Get the net. Oh, nice one, baby. Nice one. No, 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 no. You got. Me. Get ready. I'm ready. Get ready. It's not a nice one. This Dude, is a keeper, one. Brian. You think? Hundred percent. Twenty yeah. inches. All right, all right. All right. Oh my God. Do you feel my drag? I believe you. No, it's very light, very light drag. All right, let's oh get Oh my get God. Uh, I don't, doesn't feel right. Get the net, get the net. Taking our time, taking our time. We got all day. Ready? Get ready. I'm ready. Oh, you didn't like that. Oh, I don't like it. Come on, baby. Please let me land you. Please let me land you. Please let me land you. Come on, baby. I got my camera. Okay. okay. Yes, yes, yes. We got dinner. We close. got dinner. We got dinner. No, all day. That's a 20, 21. Uh, Heck yes. Redemption, redemption. <laughs> that's right. All day keeper, baby. Give me the net. Go ahead and give me the ruler just to keep okay. it. Because you don't think it is, but I know well, it I'm is. Just, he's close. I know that. I know he is a keeper. All right, okay. Hold that line straight for me. Oh, he had a mouth. That was dangerous. That's all right. They don't have any teeth. I know. But a lot, still, that biggest one. Rub. I that's true, but the biggest one I've ever hooked is an eight pounder, and the biggest one I ever hooked was an eight pounder, and uh, he swallowed it too. What boat is that? Could drop the fish? Yeah, get it down. All right, good job. Just under 20. All right, he's taking pictures of us. Let's um, <laughs> drop this. All right, I got this guy behind us who stopped. He's taking pictures of us. I don't know why, but I mean, I know why, but. Um, give me a scissor real quick and let's just cut it and drop right. them in the well. So we're kind of on a down low for the moment. Nice. The first fish, fish I hooked was this size as well. And I, you guys saw that. I dropped them, pulled them off right at the side of the boat. So it's yeah. pretty epic to get another one right at the same spot. So the black drum spot and two triple drum spots. So let me get re rigged up and I'll show you guys that fish in a sec. Turn the well on. All right. Nice job, Dar Sizzle. Thanks. All right. A little loud with the engine, but we'll move to another location. And uh, yeah, that guy that pulled up, he uh, pulled up on a, a crab trap, which is another great place to hit um, triple tail. Yes. And, uh, you know. We honestly don't try it enough, and I mentioned we did it earlier in the video, but it's an excellent place to fish for them. Yeah. Pilings are just as good as traps, and we just don't do it. I don't know why, but maybe we're going to do change that up today. Yeah, so, so the guy does look. We're guy, allowed cheaper person. He's probably mature, looks like he knows what he's doing, but I would say that, you know, a lot of guys just run past traps and, and poles to see if there's a fish and to see a fish they stop and we've never caught a fish like that like we stop we never at, see fish and every pole we think looks good which means it's old and has a lot of crap on it and then we fish it and like we would have never caught that drum or a million sheep said or a million other fish if, you know if you just it's looking. bikini time oh thank god so anyway we recommend stopping and fishing them all again, of them yeah i mean a lot of guys again their technique is just to look and run, but it's just, I guess it depends on where you are. Right here in Stewart, I just don't feel there's enough for that. But again, we're not really experts. We're just showing you what works for us. All right.
Get him, Brian. What you got? Little trip. I think it's a little one. What you got? I think it's a littler one. All right. Net? No, it's too small. All right. Nice job. All right, guys. Yeah, it's, you know, got a little struggle bus lately. You know, can't <laughs> always catch a fish. Tide changed. And we just been hitting some more spots and uh got the target. Got a nice little another little one. Here's a cute baby. Look at that. Good job. So uh catch a fish, can't complain. We are catching fish. We just went through a lull of not catching anything and just exploring and checking out other places and all that good stuff for the last like hour and a half. We gotta get it out. He's bleeding, honey. Oh, we gotta get oh, it out quick. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Maybe okay. just cut it. I'm not even sure. Okay, let me see. Oh, it's right there. Get him on you. Okay, down, 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 down. There you go, go. Get him back in the water. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, I just got hooked. Jesus. All right, so when you see those fish, <gasps> all right, when you see those fish bleeding by the gills, you got to get in the water right away. No fooling around yeah. with Yeah, so. and he was on a keeper, so. No, it wasn't even close. But anyway. All right, Brian's got nice. the touch again, so get your line right back I out. Will. And catch me another one. Bit. All right. <laughs> I don't know how much you talk about this, but you're going to, lock in or anchor or spot lock up current of this thing so your bait drift into the structure of course don't know we have mentioned that before i don't even know i don't think so all right guys back at the house like we like to say darcy's inside getting her knife and her triple tail necklace because she wants to show you <laughs> while she cleans the fish but real quick i want to go over some things with our truck and our boat just so you guys, you guys ask all the time the truck is a ford f-250 2018 i picked up like two years ago used and uh, we have a deal with South Florida Ford, uh, buyfordnow.com. So if you're looking for uh, what's going on in your area, uh, check that out. Put your zip code in, you get all your deals. And Road King trailers. You guys remember when our trailer broke down in half, like cracked in half for another boat? The Road King trailer hooked up with some trailers. They're really great. Um, and they make the trailer just like you want. I mean, they're awesome. And uh, Marine wraps. You guys see the wrap? This boat is 20 years old. It's a 2000, no, it's a 1999. It's like 25 years old. So we got the marine mat on top, the beautiful wrap, and it looks sick. I just bring it up because some dude was like saying how great it looks in the parking lot. So uh, that's that. If you're asking about those kind of things, let's get the back to Darcy cleaning the fish. All right, guys, so let's clean up our beautiful triple tail. I wish we caught another one, but I can't complain. Oh yeah, I'm wearing the lucky <laughs> matching triple tail pendant necklace. This is solid sterling silver, available on my website. And Valentine's Day is coming up, so if you want to get it for the girl or the guy in your life. Oh, there's a discount code. Yeah, that'll be linked down below, oh, B-Day 20. Yeah, there you go. Yes, discount code for 20% off. Now these fish are super tough to fillet. I'm actually gonna switch to my eight inch because I believe my knife is a slightly sharper, but these guys have so many gill, have so many scales because they live so close to that structure. And even offshore in the uh, deep sea, they live like close to buoys and just close to things that they bang up on because they try to match or lay as still as possible next to flopsome and weeds and all that good stuff. And I love how they change color. So this guy is very fresh. He's not even firm yet, but his meat is gonna be excellent and I'm so excited to have him for dinner. Nice. Also gonna show you how we take the cheek meat too. He's oh, nice. very now, slidey. Can I jump into so... something real quick? Yes. Now this shirt pressure has really heavy scales. Yeah. And so I know you come in, tell, tell us what you do specially to get it under here. Like yeah. instead of trying to chop through the scales, you got yeah. to go on an angle. Yeah. You don't want to go like this because that's just going to ruin your, your knife. So I go in at an angle, basically at the angle of the of the scales. Yeah. And you're able to slide your knife in there and just cut through the skin yes. instead of doling your knife as fast, doing it straight up and down cut. Yeah. So now, yeah. It's been a while since I filleted one, so I'm gonna try my very best to take my time here and get as much meat as possible. But I'm noticing because he is not firm, it's much more difficult. <laughs> He's like bending all over the place. That's okay. You live and you learn. I usually like to have them firm and fresh, but we only have one fish to fillet today, so it's pretty easy. I wanna knock it out, get it out of the way so we can eat him super fresh for dinner. Yeah. Ooh, very tough fish to fillet. They are just so tough. And this meat is looking excellent. Yeah. All right, then down over the rib cage. And I did, I did, I know he's a little bit of blood in there because he's so fresh, but I did bleed the fish. Yeah, he is um, very, very, very fresh. 
And so, yeah, we bled him, but you can see that the blood in the body has not fully uh, stopped moving, I guess you could say, or whatever you call it. But, yeah, we're going to have to wipe off these fillets. No big deal. Yeah, no big deal. Oh. He's very slimy. I feel like they lose their slime, too, when they sit in the cooler for a little bit. Oh, yeah. But this guy's just, like, extra tough to work with. One day, I would love to catch a double-digit triple tail. You will. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I don't want to be negative about it, but it literally has been like three years since I've caught a legal fish, so yeah. very excited about that. Yeah, well, you know, this is, this is not, I wouldn't say it's a rare catch, but we don't it's catch it. It's not rare. Not rare. It's not that rare. No. But it's awesome. We don't have a lot of them here. Like if you go to Louisiana, even, oh, the, yeah. west, even the west coast of Florida, yes. up north, they catch them all the time. Like, you don't see no, you don't see them on Instagram every five minutes down here in Southeast Florida. You just, I mean, you just don't. Yeah, we saw one in our home waters a couple months ago. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, like there's none in Boynton. Well, I that, get it. that's what I meant. I know, I thought we've been here for fishing here for 12 years, and we yeah, saw one in saw Boynton. Saw one. <laughs> and we didn't catch them. So anyway, so it's for us. This is a big deal. Yes. My personal best is an eight pounder. I would say this guy. I didn't even weigh him, but I would say he's five, close yeah, to five. Nice. All right, there's his fillet. Yeah, very fresh fish. Nice. Beautiful. We'll get some uh, paper towels and clean him up. We'll just rinse him off with the water. Well, we're not eating it right this second, so you don't want to rinse it off with yeah, fresh you're water. Right. You're right. That's bad. That's bad. That's but I would say, bad. like, even though it looks like a flat fish, like a flounder's flat, you, you clean it like a regular fish. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just a fish. Yeah, for the most part. Wow, this is just, like really difficult to work with. Huh. It's just like so. Like he's still like, there's still movement in the body. He died like maybe two hours ago? Yeah, well maybe we should put him right in the cooler. Well, we were hoping to catch another one, take double picks. Yeah, yeah. So I kept him alive, but the fresher fish, the better, of course. You're doing a fine job. Thanks. Okay. There you go, you're doing great. I don't want to make, waste any triple tail meat. No. I don't get to eat triple tail at all. Oh, good thing. job. All right, pretty sweet. Now we're going to take out a cheek. Oh, okay. Is the thing going to have cheeks? He's too small. He's, he's a little on the small side, but whatever. We'll do the best we can. Yeah. It's probably the limit of taking cheeks off a smaller fish like that, but again, it's a keeper. Well, we're going to try to see. I'm gonna try and get every morsel. Yeah, yeah well, we're gonna try sure. to see what we can do with cheek meat because that is the excellent part of this fish, too. All right, let's get to it. My diet chicken is gonna be done in eight minutes, so hurry up. Okay. <laughs> diet chicken. Like one side of this fillet is thick up here at the top loin. Yeah, it's nice, delicious. Okay. I can do that before I eat. For right, I do that on the table, no problem. Before I cook it. What? Whatever you're doing. I just wanted to get it off. Wow, it is like so freaking bendy. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to take this cheek out. We're gonna do the best we possibly can. But I, what I like to do this is what I do with snapper in particular mutton snapper and the rare grouper that I do catch. You're gonna feel like where it goes soft to hard, so this edge is razor sharp. Be so careful, this will cut you right in half. But you're gonna let your knife glide around that edge and try to keep your fingers away. Yes, you could wear gloves, but I don't wear gloves. Let's see, I think it's tiny. It this way, yeah, it's way too small. But we're gonna try. Yeah, we're trying. All the way up to the eye section. And then just take your knife. You're getting something out of there. Should be a decent amount for, I mean, that's why one day I want to catch a 10 pounder. I couldn't imagine what his cheeks would look like. <laughs> I have jokes, I have cheek this. jokes. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I better shut up. <laughs> All right, hold on. Now nice. we're gonna go like this. What? Nothing. Quiet, you. Cut up to the eye. Yeah, and basically make your fold up by the eye there. You know, this fish is just under 20 inches long, so we're gonna get a little morsel of meat here. <laughs> we're not gonna waste Take any. what I can get. We're not gonna waste anything. Oh, there you go, you see, then you peeled off that skin. Just peeled like it that. off. 
And the whole piece should come with. No, you're doing good. Just pull it right out. Doing great. Yeah, cut that little. Sometimes there's a little ligament right there. Yes, that's not worms or anything. That's just. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Nice. There it is. That's good. Triple tail cheek meat. Did a pretty good job. Yeah, Probably good. could have went up higher up here, but that's okay. All right. Did good. All right, so I'm gonna finish up the other side of this fish, fish and meet you guys in the house for the cooking we put in portion of this video. What's up guys and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Pudding, your favorite part of the show where I cook up the delicious fish that we catch on the water and it Darcy cleans up for you. So let me show you what I got going on today. I'm doing, we got the fish all laid out here you can see. We're gonna be having some steamed broccoli. We have some stone crab claws we recently caught just the other day, just yesterday. So that's gonna be awesome. And I didn't wanna to go to the store because we just watched a football game. And so I'm just doing like a trash can sauce. I'm gonna make a sauce out of whatever I have in the refrigerator, okay? So that's gonna be great. But first, let's get right to the fish. Uh, I got the fish here. It was a pretty thick, it was marginal. So that's about as thick as I wanna put it on a pan, okay? So I got it in some equal thicknesses and see these ones are thinner. I'm gonna probably cook these ones first and then these thicker. And I got the oven on, okay? The 350, because I might just, these pieces are so thick, I'm gonna sear them and then maybe put them in the oven for a little bit. So I got some seasons on there, just some garlic salt and some pepper. Uh, let's just get right to it. We just do a little olive oil, no big deal. And hopefully these are, yeah, those are good. Those are heating up nice. Look, just gonna throw that right in there. And I'm gonna put these in here for three or four minutes, let them sit, and we'll be right back. All right, it's been about two and a half minutes, and you can see by the white on the edges, all right, it started to get cooked. So when those white starts coming over, that's when we want to flip it. I like to try and keep the thick part in the middle. Well, you probably could have cooked that a little more if you wanted that nice browning on there. There you go. And these are the cheeks, so those are going to be really great, tender. All right, that's going to be ready in just a second. All right, now that's done. And where you're going to tell if it's done, you're just going to stick a fork in it. And you build it, if the fork goes right through, it's done, all right? So we'll take that off. I already had a little piece, <laughs> so I know it's done. Of course, you can cut it in half. And we're, just gonna, we're, and we're just gonna do the same thing with these other bigger pieces. We're gonna add a little more oil, of course. I might even add some butter in this time, make it a little more delicious. So if you add some butter in there, if you just put butter in there, it's gonna probably burn. So I'm using a little bit higher heat, but butter and the oil together will not burn. Or have a higher, at least have a higher boiling point or burn point, right? All right, let's rock and roll. Thick pieces in the middle, thinner pieces on the outside. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set my timer on that so I don't fool with it too quick. You can even put it, you can also put a top on this uh, to make it cook a little more evenly because it's so thick. And I think I will do that. So there we go. All right, let's take a look. All right, you can see it's quite white because the cover was on there. Oh, see, it's nice little brown on there. Could be a little more. Looks, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? All right, let's check it. Been about four minutes on each side. Now these are gonna cook at different times, so you definitely, I'm definitely taking these off. And you can see that's flaking. Look at that, guys. Woo, nice. Woo, look at that, flaked right apart. Can't beat that. Tilapia is a delicious white fish. It's firm, the semi-firm, so good. All right, time, time for the sauce. The key to this sauce is we're gonna use this same pan, or well, one of the keys. We're gonna use up all, these, all this stuff in here. I also, I actually might put more in here. I like to have more fish. So we'll get some of these pieces that kind of just fell apart. And we just put those in here. It doesn't matter. We got plenty of fish. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> Boy, it's going to be good. Turn this down a lot. Yeah, turn this down a lot. Because when we put milk and cream in here and stuff, while that's going down the low, we can, we can melt the butter. You don't want to burn the milk in here. 
I mean the cream. So most cream sauces are gonna be just, most sauce you get at a restaurant, I'm sorry, it's just gonna be cream. It's gonna be butter and, and uh, heavy cream and then an acid and some salt. Like an acid is gonna be the wine that they reduce down. We're gonna use lemon today. All right, now the butter and the half and half, we're gonna do about two to one, two heavy creams, one butter. And if you don't have heavy cream, if you have half and half, we put half and half on our, on our coffee, so we always have half and half. And if you, need a, if, if you can't open the top, you gotta get a girl to help. Because sometimes it's really hard, even with all my weightlifting lately. Thanks for noticing. So look, can you open this? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. I tore it off because I'm so strong, like yeah. the Hulk. Yeah. Didn't actually do that. So, uh, you know, one to two. Oh, beer. Beer, that was my beer. So we're just gonna put in some of this. Putting how much volume you want. And again, you can always mix this up. So again, if you don't have heavy cream, uh, half and half with extra butter makes heavy cream, okay? So or milk with a lot of butter, whatever you wanna do. Woo, I just made a mess. Sue likes a lot, so I'm gonna put a little more of this in here. This is also gonna get some of the stuff off the bottom of the pan and mix it in. We bought these garlic things in, in the Keys in Winn-Dixie about two years ago. So these are probably definitely good still. But we're gonna, I mean, don't never try these before, but crusted garlic, I don't know. It's like ground up garlic. We're gonna add some salt and pepper, of course, to taste. You can also add onion in, there, in this. Pieces of asparagus, sun-dried tomatoes. All right, now we're gonna add our acid. We got Darcy's, Darcy's knife right here. You should, do the, you should do this in a bowl beforehand so you don't get the seeds in here, but we're just gonna wing it to taste. This is also gonna, it's gonna thicken up so fast. Watch this. Our secret ingredient, Darcy's not looking. She's outside putting some ice on them. Wahoo, we caught today. All right, I think it's done. Let's put it on a plate and see if Darcy likes it. All right, we got a nice piece of flaky fish. Maybe another piece. Nice. A bunch of broccoli. We'll just use our hands around here. Nice. How about this? Boom, boom. Boom. And a little sauce. Thank you, Thinner. <laughs> I did the, the chores and he did the dinner tour. Yeah, she was out and she just got back from the store and everything else. I did. We needed ice. We caught some fish today. You guys gotta stay tuned for that video. Yeah, I told him. Oh, you did? Okay. I told him to go to yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had to get more ice for that fish and some sweets and some stuff for Ryan's diet. <laughs> I got, I'm going a little cheat on my diet today because I've been doing so good. Mm, it's good. I feel like there's not a lot of flavor to this sauce so far. I thought it was good. That was a better bite. <laughs> She's a tough critic. Mm -mm. I think it's hard to ruin chip tail. So good. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And triple tail are eating all those little crustaceans and all those things, so I think it makes their meat. Yeah, extra off the tasty. poles. Anything, anything that eats shrimp, like mostly, is like yeah, delicious. Yeah, I found many shrimp over. in their bellies. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how nice and white that is. Yummy. Can you see that? Let me try to get a little better. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I'm gonna eat that right here myself. Look at that. I'm my hand. about to eat it all. Oh my goodness! Almost got the GoPro <laughs> all over you. Dude, that. that's delicious. You got the GoPro. <laughs> oh. And we got stone crabs. What? Living our best life over here. Yep. All awesome. right. Awesome. All right, guys. It's time for us to go watch football. We're going to go eat our meal, have some land sharks, and watch the big game. <laughs> yeah. Is the Chiefs versus the... No, the Chiefs just... We're in between the Chiefs and the Ravens game. Chiefs just won. Oh, yes. And now we're watching the Lions, and I don't even know. Yes. Anyway. Anyhow. I know you guys, when you see this, will be after that. But anyhow. <laughs> right. um, yeah, so anything we talked about in this video, link down below. Please check that out. Amazon store, all the things that we love to use more efficient out there. But thanks for watching. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. I'm drinking your beer. I'm drinking my beer again. Eat my food and drinking my beer. It's okay. He doesn't want the calories. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna... He tells us about everything now. You, you serious though? That's all you talk about. <laughs> I know. He's so tiny. <laughs> if, I go, go, if I turn sideways, you can't even see me. <laughs> <laughs>